Welcome back to the Indirati studio here at European Utility Week. I'm Claire Falkvane, editor of Metering International. And with me this afternoon, I have Stephanie Jamson, who is the MD of Accenture Smart Grid Services. Stephanie, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, Claire. I believe that you had a big announcement that you made last night in conjunction with Siemens. Would you like to tell us a little bit about Omnetric Group, please? Of course, of course. So we did make a big announcement yesterday that Accenture and Siemens plan to form a new joint venture called the Omnetric Group. Okay. We expect to form it sometime in the middle of 2014, and it will focus on offering uh, solutions in the meter data management and grid operations space. Why is the convergence between IT and OT so important at this stage? So the industry is going through significant change, as you know, and our, our customers, utilities, are, are demanding new hardware, new devices in the field, therefore new software and services in order to get the, the operational benefits from those investments and in order to meet the regulatory mandates that are going on around the world. They have to update their infrastructure and, and spend as little as possible and get the greatest amount of benefits from it. Therefore, these new devices, the hardware, the software, and all of the, the process change and the people change are required for them to be able to realize those benefits. Okay, so what, what are some of the challenges that, that these, this convergence is going to bring to the customers? Or, or, or what are the challenges, sorry, that, they, that they're experiencing? Well, the, the customers have to, have to choose new communication devices, new devices on their grid. They have to do an, a, quite a bit of integration that they haven't done in decades. So they have to make decisions about, about the product, the, the company that will implement that product for them, and support that product for them. So we, we believe we, one of the main drivers for forming this joint venture was to allow us to work alongside Siemens under one roof and provide provide, bring two companies that complement one another very well to provide those services to our customers. And what are some of the, the challenges, for instance, around distributed generation and aging infrastructure that are currently being experienced by the utility companies? Well, one, one that, that many utilities have experienced in parts of the world and are experiencing in other parts of the world, let's just take meter data management, smart meter deployment. So these are devices that, at, that are at customers' homes, at businesses' premises. That they, have, they have meters today, but those meters don't communicate in two ways. Therefore, the customer gets a new meter, the utility or, or some company must deploy a communication network for that meter to communicate to, and all of the systems will be taking a new, new data, new alerts, that, that don't exist today or didn't exist five and ten years ago. So handling that data, monitoring those devices, that's just that's one example, a, a meter at a premise. Then there are devices on the grid that are even, it can be more complex and with many of the, the regulatory bodies enforcing renewable integration, bringing energy generated by, by windmills and other sources of, of generation, putting that onto the grid creates this challenge. So what does that mean for Accenture? I mean, you're still going to be operating the way you always have, aren't you? It's a good question. <laughs> and it's not the first one that, first time I've received that in the last day. <laughs> and the answer is absolutely. So within, within the, the smart grid space, we do that business today. We do asset management. We do workforce management. We provide a number of services to our customers today, as does Siemens. What this, this joint venture will allow us to do is to expand existing business and to do that in an easier way because we're bringing two companies together once the JV is formed next year to provide services under one roof to our customers. So is this kind of an integrated approach where a utility can uh, approach um, the joint venture and say we're wanting to do this implementation and you will manage both the the uh, physical infrastructure and the IT that, that goes with it. It, it. That is one thing that, that we can do. It allows us to provide that integrated service e in an easier way than we could a year ago. Because many customers want, they, they prefer to go to one organization to get the hardware, the software, the people, and, and the long-term support. So this does allow us to do that 
in an easier way. It provides, it provides one approach to do that. We will continue to work. Accenture will still have its partner ecosystem. Siemens will have its partner ecosystem. But this gives us yet another channel that's, that's better integrated than, than what we have today. Once this JV is formed, it will allow us to do that more seamlessly. And where is the joint venture going to be based? It will be established in Munich, okay. but we will have offices around the globe. And your initial global markets, uh, are, are you going to be uh, taking a, a, an overall global approach or will this be a, a kind of a, a rolled out approach in terms of where you're, where you're going to be focusing? We will. It will be global eventually. Okay. Our priority markets at first are in Europe and North America. Eventually we will go into Asia Pacific, into Latin America and the rest of the world. Okay. Thank you very much for joining us. That's Stephanie Jamison from Accenture. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.